Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to look at adding vertical stripes to a portrait to make one of these um, vertical stripe bar effect collage portraits. Um, we're inspired today by an artist called Jeremy Torvelli, who did this very um, interesting picture here, where he took stripes and moved the images around. It's been done a few times by different artists. You can see this sort of effect, kind of a glitchy, sort of modernist looking vibe. So we'll have a go at doing this for you and I'll show you what we need to do to make it happen. Okay, we will need a portrait photograph. Once we've got that, we're gonna make it black and white. So we're gonna image adjustments, black and white. Click OK and there's our black and white image. Then we'll adjust the levels so we get it to be really nicely done. So we get the black's black and the white's white if you then move the greys into get a nice tonal range. So when we do the levels, we always make sure we bring the black in and the white in to the edges of the graph. Okay, that way you get a nice black and white image. Once we've done this, we're going to unlock the layer, right click and duplicate the layer. And click OK, so we've got two layers. Okay, on one of the layers, we're going to make it slightly darker. So we're going to go image, adjustments, brightness and contrast and we're just going to make it a little bit less bright and then you can see that we have a darker one and a lighter one okay once we've done all that one we need to get some vertical bars or vertical stripes so i've gone into google i've typed in black bars vertical here's some that will appear i'm going to copy those paste them onto my image and i'm going to stretch them to fill the size of the image. Now you notice if it's stretching, it's not stretching all the way, and padlock it and the chain, and we can stretch it that way, and we can stretch it down that way. Once you are happy that it has covered the image, press enter, and then we will be going to select the black bit. So we will go to select, we will go to color range, and we will click on the black bit or the white bit. But we'll click on the black bit. We will make sure the fuzziness is where we want it, so it's not too fuzzy. We'll click OK, and we'll have the flashing lines on the layer. Next, we need to hide this layer by clicking the I next to the layer menu. Go onto the layer that we wish to mask out and add a layer mask, like so. And you'll see instantly the darker image is shining free from the top image. Then we need to select the layer with the picture on it, use the move tool and maneuver it so it's slightly out of sync with the other layer. Once we have done this and we are happy, we can click file and save and that will be our image done. We can of course experiment differently so we could do it with horizontal ones. So if we delete the layer mask, go onto the layer and rotate the layer this time and then stretch it up and stretch it down. Repeat the process. So go to select color range, click on it, click OK, go to this layer and add the mask. You can see we've got it horizontally. We could move the image that way or that way. And you can see it creates this really cool kaleidoscopy kind of weird effect that's going on. Okay, have ex fun experimenting with this. And obviously you could use different shapes. The artist also uses circles. And there's another tutorial I'll link in the description below that shows you how to do that. Okay, I hope you've had fun experimenting with doing vertical stripe portrait effects if you have obviously pop over to the channel hit that thumbs up button tick subscribe and the notification bell okay thanks for watching have a really good day and goodbye thank you